You may find yourself living in your garden shack. The crowds are out tonight for one of the biggest stars in Hollywood. Yes, it's Tom Hanks, who's back in his new movie, A Hologram for the King. And we're here to meet the man himself on the red carpet. And you may find yourself without a beautiful house, without a beautiful wife. The reason I'm here now is because of a, a fabulous I Irishman by the name of Vincent Dowling uh, from, the, from, the, from the great O'Hurlihy clan. He's the man who taught me how, how, not only just what it's like to be an actor and what it's like to pursue it, but he taught me that work in the theater is more fun than fun is. I'm very, very thankful that at a time when I was wondering, you know, what was going to come down the pike, I, I ran into this Irishman with a briefcase who looked at me and said, you just might be able to be an actor if you want it but you have to, you have to want it having him, him for this which is also of course a, you know it's, a, it's it's an entertainment film it's a comedy but it's also a political movie for me it's like it was a substantial help it's walking by look at the storm he's causing are you jealous no 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 this is great i'm you know i like to be in the background he's got really really good working ethics you know he's he's uh he's alive and vibrant and kicking and energetic all the time. I guess you cannot deny that he owns that place in cinema history. A few years back uh, I, I needed money and I worked as an extra and it was the film that he was directing and I remember looking like uh, at him on the set and thinking how cool would it be to like just have like one small scene with him so to be a, a lead in this film opposite you know, TH is insane. This is a very funny movie, Tom. It was nice to uh, flex those comedy muscles again, get those comedy chops going again. Well, it's not, you can't just be funny, you have to be real, so it has to come out of like real behavior all the time, and that, that was, that's always a great challenge in any one of these movies, but we we're also trying to figure out how to cut the absolute sadness and tragedy that, uh, that Alan Clay was going through. He's going through the great crisis of his life, and he had already been through five or six of them, so I, I think he was, he was expecting better by the time he was 55 years old. He didn't quite understand what, how he ended up in this time lag place that is this hotel room in, uh, in Saudi Arabia. Have you had a situation like that yourself, Tom? Oh, dear Lord, yeah. Are you kidding? Constantly, constantly. Take a long, 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 take a long